I saw the fire extinguisher was laid out on the floor and where it was in between a couple of the people's legs. I didn't want anyone to fall or, or to hurt themselves on it. So I pulled that out of the way. And then sort of my attention was brought back to, to the suspect um, and saw that, you know, he had a knife in either hand. Um, so decided to uh, just kind of stamp on his left wrist as, as hard as I could to try and free one of the knives off as it appeared to be sort of taped to his hand, really. Only thing that we heard from, from the suspect um, was get off of me. Um, that's all we heard. The overall residing sort of message from um, all of the, the chaps involved was it's not going to happen. It's just kind of held him there and, and, and did what we could um, until the police arrived. I grew up on rugby and the mentality on rugby, be that on the pitch or off the pitch, is, is it's one in, it's all in. I saw that something was going on. So originally, before even knowing you know, what the incident was, I wanted to go and kind of separate the incident and make sure that you know somebody wasn't getting beaten to a pulp. Then whilst I was there and then realised what was going on, I was kind of like, well, I can't run away now. I've got to stick it out and, and, and help out as best I can. Terrorist is brandishing two knives with victims all around, screaming and people cornered. Lucas pulls off the wall this, this narwhal tusk. He takes the fight on and the next minute... He's on his own. He's buying time for others to escape. There's a vicious knife fight in which Lucas takes five cuts all the way up his arm. He's hurt badly. He doesn't flinch for a moment. The minute passes. He's joined by two or three others. And now, overwhelmed by numbers, the assailant goes down the stairs, takes on the same sort of fight on reception, and Lucas follows. More knife point stuff happens and eventually the door uh, to the front steps is opened and the assailant falls out onto the steps. Lucas is right behind him in pursuit and he's shouting and screaming at those on the pavement uh, to run for their lives. I tell you what, the good British public all joins in. Lucas at that point is hurting, hurting badly. He's lost the strength in his left arm. But I tell you what, he was there to the end.